Hey guys, Tema Cookie here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to root your Android phone. This is a simple, very simple process. It takes almost no tr uh, trying at all. Everything pretty much gets done on its own, uh, and you'll be rooted in no time. This step takes maybe about three to four minutes, maybe even five. Uh, for me, it took about three. You need to download a quick application here. As you can see, I have Kingo Root, and first you have download the installer android root and then once you finish installing you return to kingo root so i will leave the link down in the description for kingo root it should look like this you click download now and once it starts downloading you will get what will download is the installer okay um, i'm gonna cancel because i already have it so i'm not gonna waste more internet to download it okay so the link will be in the description below. Once you have downloaded the installer, open it up and oops, uh, since I'm not on my administrator account, I'm going to be, yep, I have to put in my password and, okay, I accept the agreement and stuff like that, okay? So once you've done all the stuff, so where do you want to, if you want a desktop icon, which is that? A shortcut, anything like that, okay? That's what you do. And then I'm not gonna install it, so I already have it, so it's no point, okay? Next thing you need to do is grab your phone and make sure that USB debugging in is, is enabled, okay? And also have your USB connected to your computer and your phone. If you do not know how to enable USB debugging, there will be steps right in the program. So, here, as you can see, you go into settings, and you tap about phone, okay, so usually it's at the very bottom. Once you're in about phone, you look for a build number, and you tap it seven times. Then, went, go back into settings, and click developer options. Well, once you've clicked it seven times, it will say, we're now a developer. So then, go back into settings, and click developer options, and then look for USB debugging. On the rooted phone, it should say, like, Android debugging, or something like that. Anything that says debugging in it usually is that, whatever. So, yeah, developer options, USB debug, okay? Next, once you have that enabled, you're just going to need to unlock your phone if you do have a password on there, just like me. Um, and plug your phone into the USB. This app will basically do, well, this application will do everything for you. So, you just can sit back and relax, click a button, and just wait for everything to happen. My phone's already rooted and already has uh, Cyanogen mod installed. As you can see here, I have Cyanogen mod as my wallpaper. Um, Cyanogen mod installer somewhere right there, as you can see. Okay. And basically, what you're going to do is going to tell you your root notifications and stuff. Um, if you have the root status, so my phone is not rooted, but. You know it is. Um, and you just gonna click root. And I might just as well root it over. I don't really care. And get the Android installer. So, so you know, I'm not gonna reroot it. I'm gonna check for the USB connection and everything like that. And once you're done, simple process. You go on your phone. You can download an app to check if you have root access or not. And you're done. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.